That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. To be honest, I thought it'd be easier, but uh, it's it's not as bad as I would have thought. Uh, you just kind of get that itch to stand up and stretch a lot. These guys have been bed bound for three full days where they do everything in bed. Bed rest studies on Earth are used to mimic the environment in space. For example, weightlessness is simulated by tilting the bed to a six degree head down position. This pushes bodily fluids towards the head as would be experienced in space. The UK's University of Nottingham team conducted a three-day study to measure the impact of weightlessness on muscle loss and insulin resistance. The study ran parallel to a 60-day bed rest study with the European Space Agency. Scientists have undertaken bed rest studies for decades, but many risks remain over sending humans to deep space. At the moment, there's a big push to get a manned mission to Mars by the 2030s, and there's a lack of long-term data of what happens to the body during this time. There are a number of detrimental changes that happen. So if we get an astronaut to Mars, actually, will they be able to walk properly um, with quite severe muscle atrophy of their calves? Research teams still need to figure out, among other things, how to deal with the dangers of space radiation, the psychological effects of being part of an intense mission, and the social stress of being so far from home and loved ones. We have shown that humans can survive and work in space for long durations, but up until now, flights of astronauts have mostly been limited to low Earth orbit. We would like to go further, but with our current state of technologies and knowledge, we would not be able to ensure that a human crew gets to a destination in space and then, of course, back safely. Loss of muscle, change in blood pressure, and digestion were some of the findings researchers noted in previous studies. Bed rest study results aren't just beneficial for future deep space missions. They can also offer fascinating insights into human behavior and physiology. We're showing through this experiment is if you actually get healthy people to become very inactive, you can mimic or recreate all of the changes that happen in, in an aging population. So what our team particularly thinks through the experiments that we undertake is a lot of the changes with aging aren't from aging, they're actually from inactivity. Astronauts won't be leaving for Mars tomorrow, but research into the medical problems they'll encounter trying to sleep through the long night of space may make us all a little healthier here on Earth.